Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alyssa, and today I am finally doing the Harry Potter video that I talked about. In my Ulta haul, I talked about the four Ulta Beauty Harry Potter palettes, and I will be doing a look with these palettes today. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. So if you're interested in seeing my looks with these, then definitely keep on watching. So the first look I'm going to do today is with the Gryffindor palette. And I'll let you take a look at it if you haven't seen my Ulta haul video or if you haven't seen these palettes yet. This is what it looks like and I'm super excited to finally be doing this video. Of course I have the brushes that I also bought from Ulta and it is the Deathly Hollow brush set uh, and this Deathly Hollows brush set <laughs> and this Deathly Hollows brush set is $25 from Ulta. So we will go ahead and use these today. I talked about in my Ulta haul how they were so soft. They are literally one of the softest brushes I've ever felt. I really like these. And of course they're Harry Potter. So here is a better up close look of them. So Deathly Hallows, we have the stone, the wand, and the cloak. Okay, so first, I'm going to use Pure, and I'm just going to place that on my lid. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do one side Gryffindor, and the other side will be Slytherin, so you can see the two different looks. So we're first going to do the Gryffindor side, and I'm just going to place Pure on my lid. It's a very good base color. Okay, and then I'm going to dive in with the stone brush. It's a good blending brush. And I'm going to go in with peach. It's always a good idea to build on your eyeshadow. So you gotta tap off the excess and then start in the corners. And go across your eye. This is my first time playing with these palettes and I'm so excited because I love Harry Potter. I've grown up on Harry Potter and this is so exciting. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with Autumn. You're still using the same brush. I like to tap in the corner and then and go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. Then I'm going to go in with Chocolate Frog. Then I'm going to take the wand brush and go in with Mandrake. And tap off, always try to tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna place this on just the lid portion. So then I'm going to use the other side of the wand brush and I'm going to go in with passion. And I just um, placed pa pa <laughs> I just placed passion on this half of my lid so it's like right in the half mark i love glitter i love sparkles and you want to make the eye go pow. 
I'm gonna take my finger and just put it in the passion so you can see it. And I'm going to just place it right also here to be kind of be like a highlight. Go ahead and put on some eyeliner and mascara on this side and I'll be right back. So this is the Gryffindor side with the eyeliner and the mascara. I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner for my eyeliner and I use the Essence Lash Princess for my mascara. So I did that off of camera since this is not part of the Harry Potter collection. So this is the look. So I hope you liked how I did my Gryffindor look. So I pretty much almost used all of the shades, but I didn't use Howler. So let's go ahead and swatch it. So this is Howler. It's really pretty and sparkly. You can't really see the sparkles in it. It's like a shiny with a little glitter, gold glitter in it. And then we have Chestnut, which is this one. I would say that these eyeshadows overall are pretty pigmented. They're easy to work with, easy to blend. I really like them. And these were only $16 a piece, so not bad. And the last shade in the Gryffindor palette that I did not use, so I'm going to swatch, is the Cocoa, which is this one right here. I like how you can do multiple looks with these shades. There's a lot of looks you can do with these. So once again, this is the Gryffindor palette from Ulta Beauty. Okay, so after I swatch the shades that I haven't tried, we're gonna go ahead and play with the Slytherin palette. So here is the Slytherin palette. Just take a look at it. There's a lot of fun shades to play with in here. I'm so excited. Okay, so first we're gonna go with Pebble, the shade here, and I'm going to place that on the base. Okay, and then I cleaned off the brushes and I'm gonna go back in with the stone brush and I'm going to just dive right in to her right here it's like an army green color put that on the brush and then i'm just going to place it on the outer end okay i'm liking this okay. then i'm gonna go in with fluffy which is this shade here. I think the purple and the green are really gonna go well together, but we'll, we'll find out. So I'm gonna just place that in my inner lid. Go back in with Herb here. And it kind of like mixed with the fluffy shade, which is perfect. So it looks like it's building up. Honestly, just using a Tarte eyeshadow brush that I have. And I'm gonna go in with Black Lake. I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner. Okay, and then I'm going to grab another brush. This is just a Morphe brush from the Morphe Collection Glance Party. There's no number on it or anything. It just came in one of the holiday packages around New Year's. And I wanna grab some more of this herb shade here. Oops, sorry, <laughs> this herb shade. And I need to bring more of this light green out. So you really gotta blend, blend, blend with darker colors. Now I'm gonna use the shade Ivy. 
it's very minty and I, I love it. And I'm just gonna place that on my inner corner here. Grab the wand brush, put a little fluffy on it. I like the ivy shade there so you know what I'm gonna go in with moon and go over what I just did with ivy so it kind of um sword gradually changes so you can still see a little ivy there and then I grab the moon shade which this is looking so much better And I know I need some cleanup, which I will do with the foundation. So I'm going to put some mascara, eyeliner on this one, and I'll be right back. All right, I forgot to mention, I actually ended up just cleaning it up with a makeup wipe. So this was my makeup wipe that I've been cleaning my brushes with during this whole video. And I pretty much just kind of put it on my finger like this and then went across to clean it up. I'm going to put foundation and... I mean. <laughs> I'm going to put the eyeliner and mascara on and then we'll go ahead and do foundation. I actually haven't worn foundation in a very long time because I have to wear masks everywhere and I'm starting to get the mask knee and it's annoying. But you know what? Gotta stay safe. So I'll be right back. Okay, so eyeliner on, mascara on. I even put the foundation on. So these are my two sides. So I have a Slytherin and Gryffindor. I actually like both looks a lot, but I'm not finished with the Slytherin side. So let's see what shades I did not go ahead and try. So I didn't try Toad, so let's go ahead and swatch it. Go. And then I didn't try Elm. a little bit more um all right and baron i really like elm i want to play with elm looks fun and that's pretty much it i use most of yeah i use all the rest of the shades so again this is slytherin this is how the look came out And of course we got to do lips. So I did buy from the collection the Expecto Patronum Lip Crayon and the Platform 9 and 3 quarters Lip Gloss. When I talked about these in my Ulta haul video, I talked about how, well one, they are $10 a piece. And then two, I liked the Expecto Patronum one because that is my favorite spell. So we're gonna go ahead and put Expecto Patronum but only on half of my, I'm doing half and half. So we're gonna just put it on half of my, on my Gryffindor side. <laughs> okay, I know it looks really weird, but I wanna do a different lipstick for my Zuller inside. But if you wanna see what this looks fully on me, I did put it on in the Ulta Hall video. There we go. I just wanted again to show you the Gryffindor side. I did talk about this platform nine and three quarters gloss, how it was really sticky and I didn't like that. I hate sticky glosses and I don't remember if I liked the smell. <laughs> eh, it just smells. But anyway, we're going to just try it. I mean, it is really shiny and it really did make the color pop, but I'm not really a fan of gloss, but again, this is gloss nine and three quarters, platform nine and three quarters. I want to do like a dark lipstick with this side because it just, I feel like it would really go. And you know, it would really go with like a plum purple color. Okay. So the plum purple color that I'm going to use on the Slytherin side is actually Vixen shade by Kylie Cosmetics. So let's go ahead and place that on the Slytherin side. It's so weird to do only half of your face. 
the cap of your lip. It feels really weird. <laughs> it's like so weird. So I finished my two sides. I have my Gryffindor side. And I have my Slytherin side. Okay, so that was super fun do, <laughs> doing a look with the Gryffindor palette and the Slytherin palette. I washed my face, wiped off all the makeup, and now it's time to do the Ravenclaw and the Hufflepuff palette. I am a Hufflepuff, so I'm going to save the best house, in my biased opinion, <laughs> for last. And we're going to do Ravenclaw. And I'll go ahead and let you see what the Ravenclaw palette looks like. I really like this palette because the blues are just so pretty. And blue is my second favorite color. And I really just like this shade right here, Pix <laughs> Pixie. And I just can't wait to play. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to use this shade Natural. And I'm just going to place that on the base of my eye. So I put my base on, which is natural. I'm just gonna do a little bit more on there. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna go in with Bark. And I'm gonna use the stone brush. I cleaned off of the Slytherin eyeshadow now on it. And we're gonna just go into shade Bark, tap off access. And we're just going to start in the corner again and then blend our way across in that windshield wiper motion. I'm really liking this shade bark. It's like a really good natural eyeshadow. All right, I'm loving that so far. Okay, then we're gonna go in with Fang here using the same brush. Tap off access. Place it on the lid. Okay, so then we're gonna go in shade with shade Pig Widgeon, which is this one right here. Just gonna get the brush, still using the same brush, but I went more on the side that I used Bark. Tap off access. And we're going to kind of try to blend the two shades together. Let's go right in the middle of the two shades, kind of along the line of your crease of your eyelid. Not going all the way across, but going back and forth in a winch wiper motion, just blending in. Just like that. All right, I'm going to use the shade Books Bad Ends, which is this one. And these are the girls from the French school in the Goblet of Fire. They're the really pretty ones that walk in. <laughs> I just watched that movie yesterday. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go in with backs button and I'm going to put up look at that color oh my gosh it reminds me of their dresses okay just put it on my finger and I'm going to just place it on my lid and then I'm kind of going to overlap so it kind of blends together but I don't want to go all the way across perfect loving it and then I'm going to use Hedwig <laughs> Ooh, look at that <laughs> I didn't even I didn't have to try to sound like an owl. It just <laughs> anyway. All right, so there's head wig, <laughs> and I'm gonna just place that in the corner. Look! Oh my god! Okay, and I want to play around with Pixie because that. Ooh, sorry, I should probably let you guys see it. <laughs> I want to play around with shade Pixie because that's just so pretty. I actually also have the wand Harry Potter brushes. I got these from for Christmas from Kim. So thank you, Kim, again for these brushes. But I want to use this if they just mimic the wands and from Harry Potter. And I'm just going to use the shade Pixie here. It's a slanted brush. I'm going to put it in there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, look at that. That's just gorgeous. And I'm actually 
you know what? Before I do that, hold up. I gotta clean underneath. There's no foundation on or anything. So I'm just using a makeup wipe and it's an Olay makeup wipe. And I'm just kind of cleaning underneath because there's been a lot of fallout from the shade Fang. This shade Pixie, Pixie. And I'm going to bring that underneath. Kind of like a little eyeliner. Because I really wanted to use the shade. Mmm, I love that. Okay. And then I'm going to use some of Hedwig. So I'll go back to Hedwig. And I'm going to use a little bit of Hedwig as a highlight on my brow bone. Whoa, Hedwig is very, very bright. Hold on. Whew, there's a lot of glitter in Hedwig. So I need to go back in with a stone brush. I just grabbed it. Didn't really put anything on there because there should already be product that's blended on the brush just to kind of go over, just like that, just so you can make the line in between. But it's just whatever was on the brush, I just kind of went in so it wouldn't be so dramatic since it's already blended. Okay, so then I'm gonna show you what I meant by cleaning up. So you just take it, put it on your finger. This is what I do now. And then I kind of just go in an angle and do a line. So I have my triangle effect look. And so that's my Ravenclaw. I didn't expect to have so much on underneath my brow as a highlight. I wasn't trying to do that, but you know what? Whatever, time to be extra. So I'm going to put eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be right back. The Ravenclaw side is complete. Let's do a change of scenery. <laughs> I got this from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, so I just had to put it in the video. Okay, anyway, put back to makeup. So this is the Hufflepuff palette. So you guys can see it. All right, so I'm going to start off with the base with shade Sherbert here. And all of these like base neutral shades look a lot alike, but they're just named something different. But I love how they put it in there because I really do like to base off on my lid. And I do this because it helps make the colors pop. So the colors that you're actually putting on there, it makes it pop. But also if you don't wanna do a lot of extra colors, it's really good to just be a, a nice simple base and then just add a little pop of color and it's, easy to go. Sometimes you can even just do this and put just some glitter over it and you're good to go. I'm going to go in with shade Galleon right here. It's like the perfect Hufflepuff yellow eyeshadow shade. And we're just going to start again on the corner and build our way across with this shade. Go in with Earth. I'm gonna use the same shade. I think purple and yellow will go really well together. And I'm just gonna place this on the lid. So then I'm gonna go in with shade Honest and I'm gonna pretty much just put this in between the two shades I just did. So in between Galleon and in between Earth. And I just remembered that I didn't swatch the rest of the Ravenclaw palette that I didn't use. So I'll do that after I finish my Hufflepuff look. Anyway, so I'm really excited about Golden Snitch and Lumos. So let's go ahead and I'll just put one of each on my finger. So this is Golden Snitch and this is Lumos. And I think, okay. I just wanted to figure out what one I wanted to put on where. where. So I'm going to put Golden Snitch on my lid. Gonna take the, the wand brush and get some of Earth on there. And also place it on the lid just to mix the two together because you want it to not look so harsh. That brush that I put Pixie on, and I'm going to put Lumos on it. And then I'm going to just put that underneath. 
And then I'm gonna take Lumos and put some on my finger and put it underneath my brow bone. So I feel like Lumos and Hedwig are like the same shade, just named something different. So I'm gonna compare the two, but I need to go back in with my stone brush and kind of clean up. Go ahead and put some eyeliner and mascara. So here is my Hufflepuff look. Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff completed. Now I told you I would swatch because I totally forgot. My bad. Did not use was Ghost. And Twilight. So I pretty much almost used the whole palette. So let this Twilight. Twilight is really pretty like sparkly royal blue color. Oops. So these would be really good to make like a blue smoky eye. So those are the two shades from the Ravenclaw palette. Ravenclaw palette that I did not use. Now we'll go to the shades I didn't use in the Hufflepuff palette. So I didn't use Sunset. Rust. like a purple and brow and those three would put together would make a really good look so that is all the swatches now let's go ahead and do some lipstick I think I'm gonna use for the Hufflepuff side I'm gonna use the Becca and I'm gonna use the shade chocolate Okay, so I use shade chocolate for Hufflepuff. Even though I'm not much of a lip gloss fan, I really wanna use nine and three quarters lip gloss for the Ravenclaw look because I really feel like it needs like a shimmery shade for this side because I feel like like winter wonderland vibes. So I'm gonna just do the gloss. Okay, oh, I forgot. There's one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to compare Hedwig with Lumos. So Hedwig is in the Ravenclaw palette and Lumos is in the Hufflepuff palette. And I was gonna use this as a highlight, so that's why I thought of this. And I wanna kinda see, when you're looking at them, they do, oh my gosh, sorry, I keep dropping everything. They do kinda look a little bit different, but I just wanna put a side by side. So we're first gonna do Hedwig. It's like a white snowy look and then Lumos. So you can tell there's a little bit of a difference and there is a difference. So I know to people who don't do their makeup or don't understand makeup, they're gonna be like, they look the same. But no, there really is a difference. So Hedwig is a little bit more like a glittery snowy effect whereas Lumos is more white, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna actually use Lumos as a highlight uh, and I'm going to use the cloak and I'm just going to go in there. So I know cause it's an eyeshadow, but I want to use it as a highlight. So I'm just going in there, getting it out and I'm going to apply it as some highlight and it's really blinding. Like look at that. Ooh, this really could be a good highlight. Rub it a little in with the Deadly Hallows brush and pretty much only because I really like how this brush feels. <laughs> it's so soft. Plus it'll help kind of blend it in so it's not so vibrant and shocking. <laughs> Ow, I just whacked myself. Okay. All right. So I finished my Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff look. So thank you so much if you have made it this far. I hope you like the looks that I came up with. I did four looks a day, four looks. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. I had so much fun doing this video and I really hope that you guys like the looks I came up with. If you have also got these palettes and you've also made your own videos, comment below because I would like to see the looks that you came up with with these palettes too. 
you know, everyone has their own way of doing eyeshadow and their own tricks and tips. So I would like to see what you do. I really hope that you do like my video. I really liked the brushes. I really like the eyeshadows. I am not a fan of the gloss, even though I used it twice, but it is sticky, but the more you wear it, the stickiness kind of goes away. So I guess it's not that bad, but I don't know how often I will use it to be honest. And I also really do like the lip crayon. It's like a perfect nude for me. And I really do like that. Thank you again so much for watching. If you love my video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, I had fun today. I hope you did too. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.